expand our vision and explore no new opportunities no beyond our initial plan. We felt the name Immortals Phoenix Rising better reflected this new experience. Well, how Today, dare you go to work we're incredibly about excited to that? give you the first in-depth look at our world, hero, and gameplay. Huh? Let's how dive in. Immortals Phoenix Rising is a third-person, open-world action-adventure game set in the fantastical landscape of Greek mythology. <laughs> You'll play as Phoenix, a Greek warrior shipwrecked on the mysterious Golden Isle. Upon your arrival, you'll meet Hermes, one of the few remaining gods Are you able of to check out the event? Hermes you, has heard of a prophecy work? that only you can save hour? the Greek gods and reclaim their realm from Typhon, the deadliest titan in mythology. This entire epic story will be narrated by the titan Prometheus and Zeus, the king of the gods, adding a unique commentary and perspective to this legendary tale. Before embarking on this perilous journey, you'll get to create your own Phoenix. And as you progress, you'll find even more opportunities to customize your character what is by discovering legendary weapons, attention. unique pieces of gear and cosmetics, and earning the god's blessings and mythical abilities that can turn the tide of battle. You'll need all the help you can get to save the gods and defeat Typhon once and for all. On your journey to save the gods, you'll grow stronger and achieve new, incredible things, like gliding mm. with the wings of Daedalus, to jump I'm higher, excited for fight God while airborne, up. and glide freely in the open world. It looks fun, but... Facing off God against falls. dangerous yeah. mythical beasts, like the giant Cyclopses, flying harpies, and huge multi-armed Hecatonkeries. Harnessing the power of the gods to master a tactical and fast-paced, over-the-top combat system, and solving puzzles and challenges scattered throughout the world to help improve your powers. Easy. It looks pretty good, though. You'll also get to explore an epic, <clears throat> vibrant, and stylized open world filled with secrets, puzzles, and stories rooted Pray, need in a Greek call mythology. Out once a peaceful home to the gods of Olympus, the Golden Isle is now Snake overrun lady. by creatures of the underworld. To stand a chance against Typhon and his minions, you'll need to explore this mysterious land and become a mythical hero yourself. The world is divided in multiple regions, all ruled by a different god in need of your help. From the lush landscapes of Aphrodite's plains to the mechanical world of Hephaestus' wow, forge, good. Each region is packed with challenging battles, ancient puzzles, and secrets to uncover. You'll have the freedom to explore this entire open world as you wish, right from the beginning of your journey. Finally, stay with us for the post show, where you'll get a look at new gameplay. The real question though, how many players? Most people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction. But I have seen the face of time, and I can tell you, they are wrong. Is this the same game or another one? Inside the hourglass is a marvel no living man has ever seen. Only the dagger can unlock the sands of time. No! Stop! Prince of Persia. <laughs> no! Father! I saw my father turn to sand. You cannot defeat this enemy. The sands will consume everything. Come with me then. But I warn you, I move pretty fast. You'd better keep up. Okay. Prince! Ah. The dagger! It can turn back time! Can you hear me? How's my audio, bro? It's been a minute since I played this game. I brought this on us. You are brave. How's the audio? Is it yay or nay? 
Oh, let's go. Backward looking. Now, who is this? Lyra, how's that stuff work on arthritis? The nanobots should help. But you'll pay for it tomorrow. Well, that sounds fair to me. Harry says you're here to whip us into shape. That true? Let's find out. <laughs> Move out, people! One does start doing these animated, uh... <gasps> Clips. I think this is the first I've seen them. Set up the facilities you requested. Same time tomorrow. That's the deal. I'm gonna wait for we to realize that uh, Simba's is <laughs> giddy. Yeah. Uh, making us coffee. Call me tell him zero. everything we're telling now. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> wait, is this the end of the um the event? This is live stream. What is this? Oh. Try to get up for some smite after this? What are you playing? <clears throat> Wait. Let me guess. The old universe. As we get started today, we will be showcasing the Mayan Stadium over <laughs> in see. the magnificent Chichen Itza Arena. Get ready for thrills, chills, and oh shit! So if you've never seen Roller Champions before, it's a game about speed, high action, and team play. So take notice of those goal markers there as they light up on the screen there, because that's where the ball is going to be starting off on the kickoff. And as we get started, I'm actually going to use an extended tackle here. To get the ball a little bit first in front of my opponents just to get a little bit of leg up there i can actually dive twice to jump in front of my opponents i'm kind of useless when i'm on the ground but thankfully my teammates are there to take the pass for me and as we get started orange and razor are off to a quick start here already collecting the one and over to the two marker backtracking instead of going the normal way so you just go back and forth pretty pretty commonly and a nice challenge there from trash is he's gonna take the ball from razor Blue team possession. Going to go collect the one. That's This is where all the laps start. They do have to start over back at the one. So no matter where you pick it up, if you change possessions, you always have to restart your lap back over. So keep that in mind as we watch the gameplay here. And Via Trip, pretty much uncontested. You're coming into the four lap. And he's just going to put a quick shot over on the orange team. Orange team not able to block that. And I believe that was a razor. I didn't even, know, so I didn't even notice that goal up there. The open net and just take the shot. I just thought you were they were running back and forth. Yeah, and it looks like Razor almost got to it, but he was a little bit out of position on the back side of the net instead of the front side, trying to use that new uppercut mechanic to get a quick block in. One of the newest features to be added, which makes blocking and really gaining speed without the ball much, much easier than previous editions. Here we go, orange team down by one, but it's pretty early in the match. The game lasts about seven minutes in regulation. So if a team is leading at the end of regulation, they will score there. Poppy Kev with the uppercut, and it looks like Pickle's actually going to take the challenge there. That's myself on the ball. Quick dump over to Razor just to get it out of the... There's a bot. Zone. They're playing in the bot. A little bit of mishass there, and it's kind of a jump ball situation. That's just a name. Poppy Kev gets it up there. You'll see that uppercut used a lot, which is the tackle motion into a jumping motion. Just propels you straight up into the air like some kind of a jumping beam. Very, very useful on pretty much every point of the game. Here comes B. 
on the ball. Pretty standard here. Both teams not really able to get anything started in the last 45 seconds, but a nice interception there from Tripp, and he actually gets the first marker there with the interception, using the extended tackle to grab it and then jumping over one, but Fickle's all over that, and that seems to be kind of a mosh pit here in the bowl area. Pretty common here for the start of the match. You'll see a lot of challenges happen in that one, two goal marker area, and here's some separation here. It looks like Razor's got a ton of space, really no one in front of him, no one behind him. Ooh, and a critical error there as he's gonna make a mistake by using that air emote to gain a little bit of speed but fall thankfully nothing happens there huge tackle there from poppy kev as he uses one of the newest mechanics to be added in the game it's the jumping air tackle in which you jump kind of do a Have spin kick and be able to knock out anybody Alvarado? that's trying to jump over you no what is that you'll see that mind game used quite a bit here that a match. movie or a tv show and with that tackle from kev Blue's looking I, for uh, I just nice started watching the uh, the boys. Amazon's uh, time here. Slow down the paces. Dodges out Razor. TV show. Look at this. A double block from the orange team on the net. I'm on so like Bobby episode. Kev's not gonna have four. any of that. He's just gonna keep going, using the space provided. And, but here comes me from the back Second side. season you didn't see came that one out. Coming, Kev, did you? Because I, I boosted actually, off of B need using a, the need grapple need mechanic and then the extended tackle there. Have you uh, have you seen it? Extra bit of distance on Kev. Definitely caught him off guard there. Nice bit of team play from us on the orange team. Poppy Kev, this guy, man, not very flashy, but he knows how to make the space he's provided. Just staying in the bottom of the bowl here, really not gaining all that much speed, but really if nobody's challenging, you don't have to. <laughs> Just stay down and you're gonna win. Open here. Does he take the shot? B is blocking, nobody challenging in there. Well, like how many times you gotta go back and, and forth gets before denied. you score? Ball gets ripped out of his hands and taken by a razor. And here comes the counter attack from Orange. How many myself. laps do you have to Rolling do? Rolling it up to myself. Nice. Animation movie that came out in uh, 2000. A lot of speed there using the uppercut and grabbing the it at the same time. Me of the ball. The oh, okay. New uppercut mechanic. No, I never heard. Wait. Unfortunately, I did get tackled there by Trip, and he gains possession. Got a little bit greedy there, holding on for two. Uh, so it is folks. ringing a bell, but my memory is so Pocket trash. Kick. Jumping over one. On top of the hips there, moves down to the bottom. This is Poppy not. Kev's zone. If here. I see it, the I probably remember it. And the goal is wide but just here. off the name, Puts I have to like see shot. something. I actually get baited to jump, and Poppy Kev goes for the easy goal on the backside. Classic shooting there from Kev. Are you going to score from either? I baited, folks. There's, there's really nothing to say else there. The arm goes up. I instantly jump to try to block that shot that's coming. Poppy Kev holds onto it and just goes backside. The goal goes both ways, folks, so you can shoot on either side of it. Poppy Kev making... Quick work. No, but yeah, animate I've been uh, so they're up by two. I've been thinking of watching now a three point game for the orange. Have you seen uh, Princess Mononoke? B. On I've been wanting to watch here. that lately. That and uh spirit of the way. to get up the top of the wall. Very nice finesse there. Look at this speed here from B. He's so far up on the wall here. All right, this game is two. trash. Falls a little bit flat here on see. that transfer and Kev is gonna smother him as he lands.